country as crazy as ours, there's loads of material for comedians to get stuck in and make us laugh. South Africa has created a pool of funny and unfunny comedians. Here's a list of the top 10 South African comedians that can make you laugh. Coming in at number 10, Tets Nkonzo is set to break out and establish himself as a comic force to be reckoned with. With this arsenal of humor, intellect and a guitar, he brings a flavor to stand-up comedy that is unrivaled. This man is one to watch. Ebola is like the Bill Cosby of diseases right now. <laughs> Did Ebola... At number 9 is the Deep Fried Man, a South African musical comedian and writer based in Johannesburg. He describes what he does as stand-up comedy with a guitar. He adopted his stage name, a play on his real name, Daniel Friedman, because, quote, it went along with the kind of musical comedy I wanted to do, which was an unhealthy kind of comedy. I want to make love to your sister. <laughs> Coming in at number 8 is David Kabuka. He may not be South African, Ugandan actually, but he's one of the most prolific comedians in the country. He was a correspondent for the late night news with Lois Obona. No. Oh, what do you mean you don't know? Well, these Russian names are so hard to pronounce. They're almost as hard as vendor names. All you need to know... He later went on to join Trevor Noah on The Daily Show, with Trevor Noah as one of the writers. David Kabuka is definitely launching a full-scale assault on entrenching himself as a superstar, not only in South African comedy, but in the entertainment industry as a whole. It's almost like, like, like amnesia is, is white people's favorite disease. <laughs> no, you, because... Coming in at number seven is Riyad Musa. Famed for being a doctor, Musa has achieved much in his career as a comedian. In January and February of 2013, Musa performed at the Baxter Theater with a show called What's Next. Later on in the year, he went on to do Doctor's Orders tour throughout South Africa, Africa, and the United Kingdom. <laughs> Coming in at number six is Salesman the Comedian a Pretorian-born vernacular stand-up comedian. He's been doing comedy for over 10 years, catering to all nations. He's one of the comedians who have mastered preach comedy. I don't even know if that's a thing yet. The world cannot understand him. Amish cannot be... But I'm a show now, Emel. Coming in at number 5, Barry Hilton, a.k.a. The Cousin, enjoys international status as a stand-up comedian and is undoubtedly one of South Africa's top comedians. Barry Hilton prides himself on his clean brand of humor and optimistic, patriotic outlook on South Africa. He also makes regular visits to the UK and was the first South African stand-up comedian to perform at the London Comedy Store. Marijuana sounds like you're going to a gay club in Seapoint or something. What are you doing now? I'm going to marijuana's? Coming in at number 4 is Nick Rabinowitz, recognized as the world's leading closer speaking Jewish comedian. Rabinowitz is famed for his political incorrectness and his famous Desmond Tutu impersonation. So I, Ndombi, I, I don't want to, because Ndombi is in fact one of my daughters, you know. And, uh, he has appeared on the BBC's Mock of the Week and he presents the week that wasn't on 702's talk radio. Cricket against them. The, we scored 203. They were like, give us 199 to test. Coming in at number three, Skumba Shope, a South African comedian, radio presenter, and actor, best known for his starring role as Becky Zulu, the overbearing mechanic father of the title character in the SABC One sitcom Tandeka's Diary, and of course his radio comedy segments on Kaya FM. He was one of the new breed's comedy's young guns who appeared at the Soweto Comedy Festival in 2010 and was also a featured comedian in the first ever stand-up Zulu festival at the Playhouse in Durban in February 2011. <laughs> Coming
Coming in at number two is the puppet and its master, Chester Missing and Conrad Cock, one of South Africa's most in-demand comedic talent. Now I'll sue you. And you can't sue me, you can't sue me, it is illegal. The only place it's legal to sue puppets is in Limpopo. With over 15 years experience, this internationally acclaimed entertainer has worked all over the world, been featured on local and international television, and is a frequent guest at the South Africa's biggest comedy events. What do you call a white guy who didn't benefit from a party? <laughs> An albino. Okay. <laughs> Finally, at number one, our very own finest export, Trevor Noah, selling out concert halls across the world. He's now the host of an American TV show, The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. So when Obama dances in Africa, people are like, hey, Barack, your white side is showing, huh? <laughs> What's happening here? He also wrote one of the best-selling books, Born a Crime. He's widely known for his unique humor and contextual jokes especially making fun of real situation encounters wherever he goes. Every day shooting each other, just like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> that wraps it up for this week. Please do stay tuned for other content on our All Day TV channel right here on YouTube. Before we go, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on all our social media platforms. We are at All Day TV. Until next time, from me and the team, adios.